Well, you can't play music with a piece of paper. Hooray! Hooray! That was great, Squidward. All those wrong notes you play made it sound more original. What? I didn't play any wrong notes. Yeah, see, you're playing it like this. When ordinarily it goes like this. They're doing it in the key of A minor myself. Ah, uh, nothing like a duet between buddies, eh, Squidward? Elite Smash! Hello everyone, welcome back to yet another Road to Elite Smash. And last time we got in Jigglypuff, the pink airy puffball who made light work of everyone in her Road to Elite Smash. Now for our next Road to Elite Smash, we are going to be doing another Pokemon character, as we only have three slots left for our Pokemon series, as we've done quite a lot of Pokemon characters for this large series. Now, we're actually going to be playing more than just one Pokemon today, and it's going to be headed by none other than the Pokemon Trainer. Now, the Pokemon Trainer commands three different Pokemon, as you're going to be seeing all of them at work today to help us get a nice Road to Elite Smash. I'm going to be choosing this one, it is the reference to the Kalos Trainer, Pokemon and trainer. if you look really closely, you can actually choose which Pokemon you want on the fighter selection screen between these three. We're going to go ahead and start with Squirtle, so let's go! Alright, looks like we have Roy up first, and we're going to be showing you a lot, a lot of information today. So we're, let's go ahead and start off with Squirtle's moveset. That's his side B withdraw and already whipping a counter, so we're going to have a nice forward throw. And charge up, that's his neutral B right there. Oh. It is going to be Water Gun. Alright, so now we have Ivysaur. Nice F smash right there. And a nice downer. Really, really good. We're going to go ahead now and switch to Charizard. Now, the reason he's able to do that is because of Pokemon Trainer's down B. That's Charizard's side B Flare Blitz right there. Doing some nice damage. It has a lot of really nice moves. Alright. So, missing the down air from Charizard, but gets another hit back. So, missing the down air again. We'll get that down air eventually. Alright, unfortunate. We're gonna have to die. Like and you know, we do switch Pokemon each time we die. So, it goes in an order. It goes Squirtle, Ivysaur, and then Charizard. So, getting a nice jab up. Alright, so we get him with the Water Gun, but we do get him with the S Smash. And we switch to Ivysaur next. Alright, so let's talk a little more about our Ivysaur. We haven't done it too much. Alright, so we're gonna make an air dodge back. Alright, nice back throw. Try to get him right with that down air. Really good down air, but. Alright, nice forward air. And that's his upbeat vinyl switch. Switch to Charizard. Get him with a nice forward air. Nice teamwork to start off this first match of our Road to Elite Smash and getting all the Pokemon to help and. Pokemon Trainer! I gotta agree, everyone did do great. Alright, looks like we have Robin up next, and I'm going to be talking a lot today about Pokemon Trainer, as there's a lot of Pokemon to cover. So let's go ahead and start with Squirtle again. We're going to charge up that Water Gun. And nice withdraw. Withdraw has some really interesting properties that I don't know if you'll be able to see, get to see today, but they do uh, interact with some interesting moves. I think Robin is actually one of those few. So we have Charizard on deck right now, as Robin at 144. Ooh, nasty damage from Flare Blitz. Super like, like, Psyche with that Flare Blitz. And yeah, there's no stopping Flare Blitz. It has a ton of armor and can do some nice work. Nice Nair as well. Alright, uh, still living at 107. And another, I'm telling you, look at that armor. At armor and 50 L Thunder on that Flare Blitz. And that's Charizard seems to be Fire Breath as Robin missing the Arc Fire. Doing a little bit similar to Bowser, actually. Nice dash attack as well. Alright. Alright, one of the wrong move. And went a little too deep. But there's some interesting things you can do with Charizard's up the fly, which also has a lot of armor. You might be able to see that later. If we switch to Ivysaur. Alright, that's Ivysaur's multi jab. Good. And there we go. Ivysaur's up smash is doing really, really good damage. If you ever wonder anything about Ivysaur's up air, if you saw it's down there, it is basically just that. Alright. Oh, that is not good. Yeah, so we missed the upbeat with Ivysaur's Vine Whip, so we had to switch to Charizard, but we were a little too slow, a little too low there. So, nothing oh. with... Oh, there we go, there is... Oh, right. And, yeah, you saw Withdraw going a little bit of an interesting thing there. Alright, nice down smash from Ivysaur. Oh. Nice roll in, read on the F smash, 
and already off to a pretty good start and just keep doing more of that teamwork and even the, yeah everyone did great all right looks like we have luigi up next and that should be pretty interesting we're gonna have to see which ones are going to be the best for the job i think ivy store is going to be primarily used but let's charge up that water gun as well all right and yeah we gotta watch out for luigi's uh, yeah, plunger there with its deadly gravity. If we get grabbed, it might be over. So, alright, we're gonna go ahead and... Uh, why we're back? Nice tech! Oh, well, that's unfortunate. We didn't get the nice tech, but Luigi was able to respond with that up east, so we're gonna go ahead and switch that Charizard a little, little bit longer. He's at 86, so we're gonna uh -huh. get him. I did actually go for back there, there and there's F-Tilt. Down smash, really good at two frame at ledge. So we see if we can catch Luigi's with a nice down smash. There we go. Kind of reminds me of Ruby's down smash. Getting with that hitbox. All right. So yeah, and Charizard actually having two jumps, being to combat for the fact that he is really heavy. All right, getting jab. All right, trying to get him with a back throw at ledge. There we go. Nice back throw. Then he goes for a remissile again, and we get him with a nice downer. Hits him this time, as we missed it before. All right, there we go. There's the back. You're able to see the, the full animation this time. It's actually really good. You can get stuff like back throw in the back air. All right, nice flip. It's, oh, okay, 199. We're still living. He misses the stage spike. Now down here, we go for a nice back throw again. He's going to have to go for the green missile. So we go for a nice down here. Actually, doesn't spike. It sends out the other way. But living to 199, that is something you're going to be seeing Charizard doing a lot. And let me say it with you. Everyone did great. All right, looks like we have Kazuya up next. And it's going to be interesting. I think all three Pokemon do a pretty good job against Kazuya. But we're going to go ahead and start with Squirtle, charge up that water gun once again. And we're going to be able to mess around with those multi-hits on Squirtle. And him not being able to cut this too much. Okay. See, missing the electric one, Godfest, only getting this 27. A nice F smash as well. See if we can push him with that water gun. We can get a little bit close. There we go. Push him away the side B. And I actually think he could have recovered there. The air dodge might have been a mistake. Let's go ahead and switch to Ivysaur now. And now it's Ivysaur's turn to pile up on the damage. If we can hopefully avoid some electric out this big nice rage we haven't talked about it that is this side view switching to charge again with a nice up dash actually pretty fast as well all right nice grab go for a nice four throw shield against the lasers there we go he actually missed the lasers let's go for another down air three to one and he, we are still living at 162 bait him off stage no. and there is the fly armor triggering in so let's go for a nice back to do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head triple finish <laughs> Nice back to the flip. This is a really risky play to have to read his jump, but we did it and we killed it extremely early. Yeah, everyone did do great. Well, I gotta agree with Pokemon Trainer. After every game, he said that everyone did great, and I have to agree with him. Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard really played to their strengths and showed them those type advantages really do come in handy. Squirtle being light and being able to push away people with Water Gun and Withdraw. Ivysaur doing some great grass work with a vine whip and Charizard being the big heavy dragon with two double jumps that was just able to armor through everything no questions asked and getting that insane back throw kill to finish it off. So yeah, Pokemon Trader was a really fun character, and if you're ever looking to play a character with a vast different majority of options, I would definitely recommend Pokemon Trader. Really fun option. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to leave a like down below and catch that subscribe button. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, peace out and make it a great day, everyone.